to install a wrap on a sled, um, you really only need a few tools because most of the cutting is already done for you. The biggest thing that you're going to want is a squeegee, a good squeegee. Um, 3M makes the, uh, I think they're called Gold Series. You're going to want to pick up some monkey strips or go to your local Joanne Fabrics and just get some felt strips. Um, basically all these do is they go right on your squeegee so that you don't scratch up your wrap. So another thing that you that you want to do is grab a knife. Um, any X-Acto knife will work. This is just this is basically an X-Acto knife um, that just retracts. So you also want to get yourself a heat gun. Um, I don't use it a whole lot, but um, sleds are tricky because the material is so thick and it can be kind of a pain to get around curves and stuff like that. So you want to get a a nice heat gun. All right, so what you want to do next is you want to uh, remove all the decals off of it. Um, we're going to end up leaving this guy here because we're not wrapping this piece. Um, and it, well, we are going to remove the free ride decal, the Rotax decal, um, this decal right here. And then we are going to remove the, uh, the decal on the tunnel as well. So we're going to get to it. All right, so when it comes to like removing decals, the best thing to do is use heat. Um, just kind of give it a nice little even heat. Always stay moving around um, so that you're not burning the plastic. Um, you can use products like this. Uh, Goo Gone Turtle Wax makes a really good one. Um, but I do not like to use these too much because they they basically a wax. And uh, when, you, when you go to apply graphics you don't want wax or any oils on your uh, sled because it won't want to stick all that great so if you do use this stuff or the turtle wax brand or any kind of adhesive remover make sure you rub that thing down with alcohol or degrease it very very well before you before you do put your wrap on so I got all the, the graphics off on this sled so now we're gonna wipe it down with like alcohol or degreaser or whatever you may have um, yeah let's go How I like to start out a uh, sled wrap is I like to take all the graphics off, which we've already done that, um, get everything cleaned up real nice, and then I start with the biggest piece. So that's gonna be this piece right here. Um, so generally I like to stick to these edges, just try to get everything like lined up edge to edge. Um, that makes everything real easy, it makes everything kind of line up real nice. We got our, we got our piece here. Um, this is no, no backing right now. So this vinyl does have a bubble free application. So basically what it is, it has like little channels in the back here to let the air out. Um, so that makes everything real nice, especially with these sled wraps. Um, so all we're gonna do is kinda set it on there. Um, Avery has a real nice technology where you can literally pick this up. It has basically oils on the back of this um, that once you squeegee them out, um, it'll, it'll stick. It's, basically, it's a uh, pressure sensitive vinyl. So we're gonna get this on there. We have a uh, nice registration here, real nice registration here. It goes all the way down this body line. We're gonna kind of lay the rest on there. Everything lines up real nice. Um, now we're gonna take a squeegee. Make sure you got a clean uh, felt piece on there. Um, if you do scratch it, not a big deal because um, this uh, laminate is a self-healing laminate. So if you get like little micro scratches or anything in it like that. Um, all you do is take a heat gun to it, good to go. So we're gonna squeegee this on there, nice and firm strokes. 50% uh, overlap on your squeegee strokes. And you should be good to go. This does have a little curve to it. Um, that's not a big deal with this material because it is so sticky. Just like that. Go around your edges, make sure those are down. That's the biggest part that's gonna fail on sled wraps is edges. So you, may, you wanna make sure you go around those real well. Okay, so we got our first piece on there. Another way to go, go about it is to uh, just cut the piece out of the sheet that you get. Um, remove this. And then all you, all you can do, what you can do is just tear the backing right off. That's the piece that's all. All right, 
so that's good enough anyway. So basically what this does is it gives you the decal with the backing still on it. So this piece is gonna go right here. Um, and what we're gonna do, um, we're gonna take a real sharp knife You know, all we're gonna do is kind of score this back. We're not cutting it, so we don't wanna cut the vinyl. But we just wanna score that backing paper. Kind of break it. And there you go. You got a, hint, a permanent hinge that you can set that decal on there. Basically this way, you can just line it up, find your permanent hinge there. Right about there. Go straight down. Now you got your now you got your decal on there. All you're gonna do is take take one half of the backing off, squeegee it on. Take the other half off. Just like that, you have it on there. Okay, so there is one more um, method of applying these decals, and it's to use water. Generally, we don't use water too much on these graphics because um, if you use water application method with the uh, bubble-free technology, what happens is the water gets trapped behind the, uh, it gets trapped in those little um, channels, you could say. At that point, the wrap won't really stick. Um, you might get it, you might get it on there for you know, a week or something, it'll end up falling off. So, um, if you're using bubble-free uh, technology with your vinyl wraps, um, do not use water. Um, it will not work. It might work for a little bit, but it's not gonna, it's not gonna hold up. Um, so, this is the two easiest methods um, to use when it comes to applying um, sled wraps, you know, motocross wraps, even car wraps in general. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys learned something. We're gonna get we're gonna get the rest of this slide all done. Um, yeah. We didn't do a whole lot of coverage on it. We didn't wrap any of this just because the customer likes it. And I don't blame him, it looks cool. Um, so we did everything else. Um, he does have a link um, system on the back, so we didn't wrap any of this. Um, but yeah, looks good overall. Um, we went around our edges. Um, when you're applying these uh, wraps, you really wanna make sure you go over everything with the heat gun really good, um, especially your edges because um, because the wrap's gonna be exposed to the elements and it's gonna be cold and whatever. So it's good to uh, go over everything, make sure all your edges are cut, um, flush with the, the body of the sled, and uh, yeah. So this one's done, another one in the books for DJ Customs. Um, if you like these videos, follow me, subscribe, hit me up on Instagram, I don't care. We'll see you guys.